Hi guys, I have here a gameplay of Black Ops 2. Uh, I was playing it on the Wii U. I borrowed it from a friend of mine. And well, I could try it. Uh, I tried to play with the uh, Wii Zapper, as I did on the previous games on the Wii. But it, it isn't possible because in the options, control options, you, you don't have the option to to play with the Zapper. You can do some gestures to kind of mimic it. Uh, to play similar to it, but you can't, for, for example, it's a lot of trouble to reload, to to throw grenades, to to dive, or for example, was very difficult, so it's almost impossible. I tried it, but it didn't go well. So I uh, obviously play with the Wiimote and Nunchuck. You could also play it with the Wii Control. Uh, Pro controller and with the gamepad. The gamepad, I think, uh, it was okay. It wasn't nothing special, but uh, you have to obviously play it with aim assist because if not, it was very difficult. And here, the the weapons that I find most useful were the scorpion. Here I have it: the scorpion with rapid fire. Uh, it's a good submachine gun. You can kill very fast with it. And I usually use it with overkill. And as the other weapon, I tried some uh, an assault rifle for long distance kill. There was so, uh, someone called SM SMD or something like that, which was a one burst uh, shot. It was okay. If you had a good accuracy, you could kill pretty fast. And here I am playing Domination on this map that I found was very fun to play. It was very frenetic. I went there, there like a kamikaze and obviously died. And as a kill streak, I usually have the. I was trying to vary it to try some of the ones that in the Wii you couldn't use, like the chopper ones from above. And in this map, it's very useful to have a, the sentry gun. As I will show you later on this video, there is a place where you can put you can put it and you can get a lot of kills. I also tried recently the Call of Duty Ghost on PC and I didn't like it at all. So obviously I'm not going to play it or upload any gameplays of it. I found it to be the to have very large maps and there are a lot of campers. Also, you die very, very fast, so, and you always get killed from behind and stuff like that. And since I live in Argentina and have a lot of lag, it was very impossible to play. Here, I, uh, as I always try to do, I always try to play the objectives. Here, I was trying to cap the flags all the time. Luckily, I could do it there. Also, in this theater mode that I was trying, the the aim doesn't show well. It shows like I was pointing to the center of the screen, but that's not the case. When I played it, I obviously pointed well with the remote. I also have been playing the Titanfall, the beta on PC, and I've I think it was a lot of fun. I recorded some gameplay of it and I will most probably upload it later and show you how, how the game it is. You must probably see it on other YouTube channels, but well, I give my opinion on that and show a good gameplay I got. Here I have the two kill streaks, the care package, I think, and the sentry gun. And at the end, I got uh, also the ACR one, which is pretty funny to use. It's like a little robot. You can control it or make it uh, go it on and kill people by itself. The final score on this map, I think, is on this game is 34 and 34 kills with only 12 deaths. And I thought it was pretty okay.
Here my team didn't cap too much, so I have to do all the work by myself. I die there with a grenade, even though I have the flag jacket as a perk. I thought it was cool uh, to have uh, the option to have three perks, for example, or three attachments to one gun. It was very customizable, all the things or the weapons and perks, and that was okay. I didn't like that they didn't put the support packages, the support kill tricks. I mean, I like and I played it uh, in Modern Warfare 3. I always selected it, and it was one of the best because you didn't care if you were dying you could get, still get them here's the place I usually put my sentry gun there I didn't have much luck and I got it killed instantly with an AMP grenade I think this is the assault rifle I was talking to you about here I got a bit of luck all trying to cap by myself killing all the enemies and well, finally died. Oh, to knife with a sapper, it was almost impossible. So it was uh, good to try, uh, finally try out with a Wii mode, and you, shaka, you can just uh, knife with a button and that. It's much more easy. That was the Predator missile. In this game, it's called Hellstorm. It was fun. You could you could this, uh, use it on the Wii because of the graphical limits. Limits, and it's always uh, good to have one or two kills. There is the place I told you about that you could put the sentry gun and get a lot of kills. The bad thing about the Call of Duty games on the Wii U is you don't have a lot of players online. Or in some style of games like uh, Headquarters, which I liked a lot in the previous games, you almost have zero people playing on of it. It was impossible to play it. You mostly have to play Team Deathmatch, Dominations, and Search and Destroy. That was all the style of gameplays which some people on, on it. That really sucks because you you pay a full price game, you don't get the DLC, you don't get to play a lot of styles, and well. Also, I didn't like that a lot of people uh, play with the gamepad and not with the Wii mode. And well, if you are going to play like that, I think you could play it on the yeah. Xbox 360 or on the PS3. The fan of the playing in the Wii, I think, is playing with the Wii mode. You can aim and that. Here I got them from the back. Got two other that was trying to cap. And as you can see, the guns I say work pretty well. I get a lot of uh, another time I put the sentry gun here. The laser attachment was okay since I shot a lot of from hip fire. It was a good thing to have it around. It helped a little. Ah, here I got the death machine, I think it's called, which was in Black Ops 1, and it's always fun to use. And luckily I could get uh, some kills from it. And then the other, another good thing is that you still get it after you die, you can still use it. In the previous Call of Duty, that didn't happen. Here, I, as you can see, I can use it again, until you get uh, out of bullets. I get another kill with the sentry gun there. And well, sorry for not posting too much gameplay of 
Well, Call of Duty, but I only have the Wii and since Modern Warfare 3 they didn't come out any other game, so I will try to upload some gameplays of in PC now. I will upload the Titanfall and we'll see with another game. I was thinking also of the Runner 2 and well, let me think what you want me to upload. I will also try to add to this gameplay a 3 kill with a grenade. Well, see ya.